There is Michael Sam getting a standing ovation at a Mizzou basketball game last night. The All-American from Missouri looking to become the NFL's first openly gay player. Sam's barrier-breaking announcement on ESPN's Outside the Lines made headlines months before we even know if he's going to be drafted. We have a panel of experts here to discuss what it means for the league and Sam's career. First, the backstory from ABC's David Wright. I came to tell the world that I'm an openly proud gay man. With that announcement on ESPN, Michael Sam made history. I understand how big this is because it's a big deal, but I know what I want to be, and I want to be in a play uh, snap in the NFL. Sam's decision to put his sexuality front and center now faces a serious test, the NFL draft. The University of Missouri defensive end is considered a top contender. Michael Sam is doing the right thing, and I hope the National Football League does the right thing and get this kid get, get a chance to play. David Cope has some idea what Sam is going through. He played for the 49ers and the Packers in the 60s and 70s. Then, right after he retired, made an announcement of his own. December 9th, 1975. And you remember the exact date? Oh, absolutely. Cope was the first retired NFL player to come out as gay 40 years ago. A lot has changed, and plenty of other professional athletes have followed suit. Last year, basketball's Jason Collins and soccer's Robbie Rogers came out and declared they're gay. But football? Football is another order of magnitude altogether. In the American psyche, football is where our gladiators play, okay? It is the roughest macho sport, and John Stewart had this very funny thing. <laughs> Is this gay football player? Oh, probably a kicker, huh? Am I right? A kicker, you know, he's gay kicker. At 6'2", 260 pounds, University of Missouri defensive lineman Michael Sam used skill and strength to lead the SEC in sacks last year. <laughs> he's a hell of a football player, and that's what I'm trying to get people to focus on. PR guru Howard Bragman, an ABC yeah, News consultant, forward. worked with Michael Sam ahead of his announcement. The reaction, including the cover of Sports Illustrated, overwhelmingly positive. It One Dallas sports anchor's commentary well. went viral. You beat a woman and drag her down a flight of stairs, pulling her hair out by the roots, you're the fourth guy taken in the NFL draft. You lie to police trying to cover up a murder, we're comfortable with that. You love another man, well now you've gone too far. Rick Welts, president of the Golden State Warriors, is the highest ranking executive in pro sports who is openly gay. He squarely put it back to the teams of the NFL to make a decision and make a decision that becomes a very public one. The NFL is already grappling with what can be an abusive locker room culture, players bullying one another. Just this week, the NFL released a scathing report confirming a pattern of abuse and homophobia within the Miami Dolphins organization. This week on Twitter, some of Michael Sam's potential teammates did not exactly welcome the idea of an openly gay player sharing the locker room. Some of them calling the whole thing a distraction. But Robbie Rogers says for him, it's been no big deal. In our locker room, the guys are very respectful and, you know, we make jokes. What kind of jokes? Well, like, guys are like, I'm the first person they come to for, like, fashion advice. And I'm just like, come on, like, are you serious? <laughs> and at some point in time, it won't be a big deal. Today, it's a very big deal. He'll be playing not just for his team. What advice would you have for Michael Sams? Bring it. <laughs> play football yourself. Yeah, play football. Be yourself. A lot of people will be rooting for it. For this week, David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.